Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And in this video, we'll analyze a point P whose shortest distance has been given from, from a particular point which is actually somewhere along the XY line or the reference line or the intersection line of the two principal planes that is HP and VP. So first of all, let's try to extract data from the description of the problem. Here we go. A point P is 20 mm below HP and lies in the third quadrant. So one thing is for sure that the point is situated in the third quadrant and it is 20 mm below HP. So this dimension right over here is what you refer to as H. Second thing is its shortest distance from XY is 40 millimeters low. So let me make it more realistic for you all. This, this over here is the third quadrant. This is the horizontal plane. This over here is the vertical plane and there is going to be a point which is going to be below the HP and behind the VP. Okay, and let me fit in a profile plane also. HP, VP and a profile plane, that's it. For, for watching this front view, you have to take a look at this from over here. For watching the top view, you have to take a look at um, this point from over here. And for having the side view, you have to take a look from over here. So let's fit in a point which is precisely 20 millimeters below this horizontal plane, something of this sort. This is 20 millimeters below the HP. Okay, and the name of the point is point P. That's 20. Done. It's shortest distance from XY. Now guys, this over here, this is X, this is Y. This is the intersection of HP and VP. Now there are n number of points, infinite points along this XY line. But what we are really interested in is the shortest distance from XY line. So out of all these infinite points, there will be one point from where this point will be at a minimum distance or this point P will be at a shortest distance and it will be somewhere here. Let me tell you this, this will be that point. Okay. And we are interested in this point. This shortest distance has been given as 40 millimeters. Done. What's next? So let's, let's punch in the front and top views. Here we go. That's going to be the precise location of the front view in the form of say P dash. And this over here is obviously the location of its top view in the form of simply P. Now let's join the front view with the top view with the help of a projector line and here we go. Done. Let's try to take a look at this point from the side and this is what you're going to get. This is the side view P double dash obviously. This distance can be clearly seen. This is the shortest distance all right and this is nothing but 40 millimeters okay and this is going to be P double dash and what you can do is you can join the front you can join the top with the side view and you can join the front with the side view something something in this way that's it now according to the rotation protocol this is what you're going to do you have to rotate the horizontal plane by an angle of 90 degree in the clockwise sense and also you have to rotate the profile plane this way 90 degree in the anti-clockwise sense and once you do that all of these planes HP, VP and PP, all of them will become coplanar. Okay, they're going to lie in one single plane itself. Something of this sort. HP, VP and PP. Done and dusted. So what shall be my next step? All right. Now, as far as this problem is concerned, we have this data. That is H is equal to how much? That is 20. We know what the shortest distance is. Shortest distance is equal to 40 millimeters. And this shortest distance is something that we can clearly see in the side view and this is precisely the left hand side view okay and this is 20 millimeters so what I'll do is I'll draw this 20 millimeters in the vertical plane something of this sort we know the value of H and whenever you're talking about a point situated in the third quadrant D above H below that means top view above and front view below that means no dash above and point with a dash below so we're going to have to travel 20 millimeters downwards this way and with the dash, this is going to be P dash, obviously. So what's next? We've already used this data. Now we've got to use this shortest distance. That is the only data left with us. Now what we'll do is we'll travel this way. Okay, this way. And then once you've reached here, this is where we've reached. We'll travel this way, this way. Now, this over here, this is 40 millimeters. So essentially what we can do is this point corresponds to this point in the orthographic projection. You need to 
take a radii of 40 millimeters in your compass in your rounders and take this as the center and you need to cut an arc okay and this point over here will give you the precise location of this p double dash that is the side view so that's p double dash for you now it's going to be very simple you need to go here okay then that means you have essentially reached here you have reached here and again if you have seen my previous videos i already told you whenever you are making the front view from the side view or whenever you are making the side view from the front view rotate either by an angle of 45 degrees and here we need to rotate this this line by an angle of 45 degrees this way that's it this is 45 degrees and once we've reached here then you can make a horizontal line from here and produce this vertical line from here and both of them are going to intersect somewhere here and this point will precisely give you the location of the top view of the point p that's it this is left hand side view this over here is the front view a dash corresponds to a front view and this right here is the top view done and dusted the problem is over now you can also go ahead and check whether the projection that you've made is absolutely correct or not so what you can do is you can keep a scale over here and try to measure this try to measure this this is h and this has got to be d try to measure this value of d it should precisely be equal to how much that is 35 millimeters and if, if you've got this value well you're on the right track so friends that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has enhanced your knowledge of engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update needless to say i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing until then it's a wrap this is manas patnak signing off take care have a great day and keep learning keep drawing thank you